Hey guys, this is Getsumara and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. In the last episode, I fucked up Major Lee. What I accidentally did is I overwrote one save file, went to play the other, and overwrote that. So effectively, I am now on my practice file, which is like five levels weaker than my other one. Exact same point in the game. Well, I had to catch it up a little, but I just had to do like that pass fight again. Yeah, which was kind of a bitch with this level, but you know, I'm here. And I need to grind, so let's continue with the game. So, well, now that we're in the town, honestly, there's not too much to do. We can talk to all the little spirits. No one's done since just ahead. You aren't going there, are you? Don't waste your time. The road to the dunes is sealed off, so no one can get through. Fine, let's just go through this door, then. I don't remember if I showed this off, but come on, let us in. This is the way to Xylophone Tower. Those without the Elder's permission shall not pass. You shall not pass. Let's talk to the red one. Guess in a place like this, my mind, quite young ones from the looks of you. I wound up here when I was about your age. Most of the people here are old fogies. I get so bored with no one to talk to. This works so perfectly. You can keep me company. Oh yeah, this guy wants to play score piece. Um... I think this is the one that gives me the silver star, but honestly, a lot of these ones I can't actually get the main item I want off, because most of them you really actually got to be in encore mode, like, one of them here or a little bit further in the game gives you your best in slot weapon for Reddo, but you need Scorpius 26, which you can only get in encore mode, and you can only play with the guy in encore mode. Kind of sucks, especially because encore mode is actually harder than regular mode in. Here is, like, an awesome looking place. It's the desert. And this sealed off world. And there's a bunch of black goats. Welcome to the noise dunes of fantasy. <coughs> First of all, I'm gonna tell you if you need money, um uh pitch yourself pretty decently for the black goats, so just take beat out of his little cage. I had him locked in that was um buried in the ocean. Unlock him, keep him in the hospital for a couple of weeks, and when he's out, um, take his camera and take some pictures, and sell them for money, because I, right now I need money and everything, I need lots of stuff, honestly. So, yeah. I'm just going to tell you that, so let's actually go up here, because there's someone we need to talk to, we need to talk to the so-called Elder, because we're not allowed to go into the Xylophone Tower or the Sand Dunes, but let's fight a Black Goat. And I will be grinding off-screen to catch up, and also to get a little bit ahead. But I am loving the new party level. It is actually really good. When you pull off a harmony chain, it's amazing. Although party level 6, I will show off because it's in the Mystery nice Fusion Dungeon. It is annoying. Annoying. Because you can't get used to it because it's random. And I mean literally random. Here it comes, Harmony Chain. Oh, he died. I was going to do a third one. Oh, that's weak. Oh, well. But essentially, um, your, contr your controls kind of get randomized a little bit every turn. Like, so you're doing a Harmony Chain, it could be any really one of the buttons. I think except square. So it's kind of annoying, so my little strategy to the harmony chain just kind of got stuffed to the point. Because, you know, the goats go here, especially when we're dealing with goats. Uh, that's a funny joke that you won't get for a couple weeks. Not until the goats go here. Uh -huh. I really find that funny. Break the guard. Break the guard. There we go. And I want to see 32. Okay, this will actually work. Come on, I want three echo chains. Three. Oh, come on! Stop killing them. That was perfect. Oh well. So let's go talk to the elder now. But yeah, it's kind of annoying when they get randomized. Uh, but look at all these goats. 
If only they would go in the barn, because you know the goats go over here. Oh, th that makes me really laugh. I love Tales of Creed for kind of making that little joke. Hey, you guys aren't even dead. What'd you come for to a place like this for? And we talk to him with our hands, so we're Italian. In other words, you came all the way to the noise dunes just to chase a monster? I'll just cut to the chase. Impossible. Well, just look at the barrier. How do you expect to get anywhere if you can't go through that? How to break the seal? It's simple. You just need to flip the deactivation swip, uh, switch on top of the xylophone tower. But the monsters that hang out in there are super tough. You might even die, man. You still want to go? Well then, if you get your heart set on climbing that tower, I'll have no choice. Or rather, I'll have to give you my elder's permission. Wait, you're the elder. So there's an elder to the elder? That or he's just talking like fragmentedly or in third person. Oh. The elder says you can pass. Oh, but you're the elder. Yes, the elder says you can pass. <gasps> I think we hit a loop. Haha. -ha. Alright, well, let's actually head to the xylophone tower now that we can. Oh, yeah, gonna warn you guys. Very annoying puzzle. You're gonna want a pen and paper handy. I have a paper. Oh, here we go. And a pen. And I'm gonna draw. Well, I'll probably draw up a crappy little drawing and post it in the description of what you're gonna wanna draw. Because, you know, I have ghetto drawing abilities, but let's talk to some people before we go in. Before I came here, I was turned out of my own village. But take a look for yourself. Looking up from here, you can see that everyone gets along with each other. No one's being bullied or teased. It's really gratifying to see. Wow, that almost makes you have no regret for dying, because you're, like, peaceful with each other upon death. Yo, what's up? I got to Elegy the other day. Figured I should probably look for some place to live, but I can't seem to find anywhere I like. All the best places are already taken. Well, doesn't that mean a lot of people have died? There are only grown-ups around here. I don't have anybody to play with. <clears throat> so apparently this one's a kid. Why don't you go hang out with that young one by the door? I think the red ones are chicks. I'm assuming... Hey, what's this one? <gasps> oh, this one. Where are you going? That's already the top. That'll give up the ghost soon. Why don't you let it do what it likes? Are you tired of sand? Has the stagnant wind dried you out? Time is meaningless here. Time makes things rot. Do you still want to go? So you will move time yourself? Very well. And climb the Tower of tri Tribulation. Be tested by the ones who can determine if you truly sway time. I will pray for you. Now, I uh, sorry I went quiet for a moment, but remember what that name was, sister. Who could possibly be looking for her sister, or whose dead spirit could that possibly be? Could it be, perhaps Chopin's sister? And what was she just talking about? I completely forgot about that. I'm glad I kind of just got it randomly, but very important actually. It'll make a lot of sense later. Actually, half the stamp story will. This is the way to the xylophone tower. Those without the elder's permission shall not pass. So we talk with our hands. Chavez means move or you'll get a face full of reddo. In other words, he steps aside. Oh, we could do Luigi's Mansion style and just suck you all up with a vacuum cleaner. Whatever your beef is. And this place looks amazing and the music is amazing. And it also has a really cool aspect to it. Welcome to the Xylophone Tower of Shining Keys, or the Shining Keys, rather. 
this place has an annoying puzzle, but it looks magnificent. Oh my god, I love this place so much. I just love the look and this music, everything. Oh god, it's so amazing. So you've noticed me, have you? I'm the guardian of this lofty tower. Well, isn't this a treat? I haven't had visitors in quite some time. Seems everyone's a coward these days. Nobody has the guts to take on this tower. I've got a soft spot for reckless little humans like you. Wait, what's the, with the blank stairs? You mean you don't know about the trial? Whoa, whoa, hold on. Seriously? Well, it seems my little speech was praise of wasted on you. Which means, don't tell me. You don't know the rules of the trial either. Unbelievable kids these days. I guess there's nothing for it. Alright, I'll explain the rules, so listen up and listen good. First, take a look over here at the golden keys. I'm going to play you a song and it's your job to memorize it. Hey, what's with all the frowning? There's nothing to worry about. Or a boot. While I'm playing the music, the keys will glow to match the different notes. So even if you don't understand music, you can just memorize the order in which the light glows. When the song's over, it's your turn. Play the notes in order you heard them. Here's how it goes. Stand on the key of the note you want to play and then press the X button. Haha, <laughs> the X button! I'm gonna make Maynard watch this video. If you're standing on the correct key, the keys will light up and the note will play. But if you make a mistake, there'll be no light and you'll hear no sound. Then you'll have to start all over again. Quite annoying, ain't it? Don't you think you got it? Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's do it. Well, why not give it a try? If you can't remember it all, make, make a mistake, just come talk to me and I'll let you hear the song again. Alright, here goes. Listen up now. <clears throat> B, G, F, G. Alright. B, G, F, G. First one's easy, it's only four. It gets longer. And it also gives us a massively sized staircase to run up. Just keeps going, doesn't it? Yep. So let's climb this staircase. Ride the shoe buff, ride the shoe buff. And every time you walk up, it makes a sound. Aha! Aha! All those years of piano lessons, I'm destroying them as I walk on these keys. Piano teachers around the world will watch their ears bleed out their mouths. And god, that made no sense. Then again, I'm probably making them cry with this bad music. Although it's really cool, because pretty much as you walk up, you get to hear the notes play. And apparently, like, when I was um, practicing it, rather on my second playthrough, my friend was really annoyed by the sound, and I kept having to do one of them over, and he's like, Oh, make it stop! He was like just swearing at me, and, like, this was hilarious. Wow, that thing was weak. It died before I could even actually hit it with an echo or nothing. Uh, I can't do a 2 behind the chain. There's no one else nearby. Oh, I can! Come on! Work, 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 work. Wow, it did work. And there's the 3 harmony chain. Uh, one I like to pull off, um, I got lucky once was... Heat Blade, or sorry, not Heat Blade, um, Starlight Blast, Heat Blade, Sun Slash. That was awesome. That was freaking face roll. I love that so much. So let's climb the tower. Climb the tower of fate. And see what shall be decided for yourself. And I really don't want to fight this guy, actually. What time are we up to? No, I won't make, be able to make it. So we're, I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. So next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, we will continue to climb the Xylophone Tower of Fantasy. So we'll see you next time, guys. Or rather, the Xylophone Tower of Shining Keys. So bye.